This video is an introduction to endangered species. For detailed information on this topic, please visit the CORE website. There are almost 2,000 threatened or endangered species in the world, and more than half of them, about 1,300, are in the United States. The Endangered Species Act was created to protect and recover imperiled species and the ecosystems upon which they depend. In evaluating permit applications, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers considers the potential effect of a project on any federally listed threatened or endangered species. The Corps also considers the effects on designated critical habitat. Endangered species are those that are in danger of extinction throughout all or a significant portion of its range. Threatened species are those that are likely to become endangered within the foreseeable future. Endangered and threatened species are sometimes referred to as listed. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration's Fisheries Service, commonly called NOAA Fisheries, decides when a species is listed and they base their decision on the following five factors. Damage to or destruction of a species habitat, overutilization of the species for commercial, recreational, scientific, or educational purposes, disease or predation, inadequacy of existing protection, and other natural or man-made factors affecting its survival. The Endangered Species Act prohibits takes in listed plants and animals. A take is defined as the harassment, harm, pursuit, hunting, killing, trapping, or collecting of the listed species. Besides protecting the species, the law also protects the habitat upon which the species depends. Critical habitat includes geographic areas containing physical or biological features that the species needs to thrive. Federal agencies are required to use their legal authorities to promote the conservation purposes of the Endangered Species Act. To that end, the Corps consults with the Service, NOAA Fisheries, and state environmental agencies to ensure the Corps' actions are protective of the listed species. Section 7A of the Endangered Species Act specifies the consultation requirement between federal agencies. If the Corps determines that a proposed project will have no effect on a protected species or its designated critical habitat, no further action is required. If the Corps determines that a project may affect, but is not likely to adversely affect, the species or habitat, the Corps consults with the Service or NOAA Fisheries and requests their written concurrence before making a permit decision. If the Corps determines that a project may affect the listed species or habitat, it will initiate formal consultation with the appropriate agencies. The agency will provide the Corps with a biological opinion. The Corps reviews these findings before making a permit decision. In many cases, changes to the project design are made so that the adverse impacts to listed species are avoided. Protecting endangered and threatened species and their habitat contributes to a diverse, healthy, sustainable ecosystem that supports life. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is one of several federal agencies that play a key role in this protection. The Corps is diligent in collaborating with other federal and state agencies in carrying out this responsibility. Before beginning any project in waters of the United States, be sure to find out if a Department of the Army permit is required. While this video attempts to give a general overview of the regulatory process, viewers should refer to the actual laws, regulations, and guidance for complete and current information.